Thank you. Ed said that uh, many of the inductees were at the right place. Uh, I was at the wrong place at the wrong time. <laughs> <laughs> I was in Beirut in 1998, a war-ridden city, where uh, ravaging civil war was bringing destruction and uh, killings and uh, damage to the assets. And I was a biomedical engineer, uh, hiding myself actually in the hospital, living in there, practically living in there. And uh, to isolate myself from the uh, craziness outside, I was playing with computers and local area networks. And uh, I mean, despite all odds, with a group of friends uh, at the university, we were looking into solutions to, is to break the isolation of IUB from the academic uh, uh, environment in the US. So we started to look into connectivity. Being enthusiastic about that, I, I somehow find myself uh, leading the team into an enterprise that seems to be quite impossible, I mean, a far-fetched dream. Uh, and uh, after many trials to connect uh, the university to BitNet, uh, to Earn, to the internet, and failures, uh, being disillusioned by also the Taif agreements that was supposed to bring peace to Lebanon but brought impunity to those who were destroying Lebanon. I immigrated to, was my, was my wife and the baby daughter to Canada. Uh, in Montreal, I quickly realized that the urge to connect Lebanon to the internet was burning inside me. So I kept on seeking solutions and I was one of the lucky people who we were invited by George Sadowski to, and to INET 93, uh, where I was on the technical track and under the lead of Randy Bush. And uh, that was really a paradigm shift. Uh, during that summer at Stanford, Randy Bush was instrumental in helping me, uh, I mean, find a, find a solution for the chicken or egg first puzzle by connecting, by hosting the .lb uh, services on PhD.com infrastructure. And uh, that way I was able to go around the, uh, the mon monopolistic pro uh, uh, problems that we have with the, I mean, what looked like uh, telecom infrastructure in Lebanon. And second, I met wonderful people and I became engaged with the internet society, I mean, the, the most beautiful society that I've ever been and worked with. And uh, that opened really the horizons and permitted me to develop uh, and copy that uh, society in Lebanon and create a large group of uh, uh, members. I mean, we have 650 members in the internet society in Lebanon, which is, I believe, quite, quite large as a as a group, and we created uh, an environment uh, that is, for many, they believe it is an evasive environment because still the government is a monopoly. And uh, while we manage everything based on a multi-stakeholder, bottom-up structure, offering most of our services pro bono uh, to the community, uh, and by the way, we're, evasing, we're evading the uh, the regulations and the established monopolies, they don't know what to do with us. I mean, we are people offering pro bono services and somehow they don't know how to treat us. Uh, and we established some sort of strong roots because we have a very large community. It became influential. And really that's my story. I would like to thank the Internet Society. I'm humbled and honored to join the list of inductees that I have always admired and respected. I would like to thank who, those who nominated me and supported my nomination. I would also like to uh, special thank to my family, to the American University of Beirut, to my team at CNS, uh, to Isaac Lebanon founding members and Link founding members. Thank you.